Welcome to the Mississippi Minute. With only a few days left until the primary, Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves joined folks from across the state for Mississippi's giant house party. Tate, joined by his wife Ely and their three girls, caught up with friends and crowds of energetic supporters at the fair. Stopping for the main political event, Tate brought his family up on stage as he addressed the overflowing Founders Square. I talked to him, he said, Tate, I seen your wife on TV. I said, yes, sir. She is my better half. He looked at me and he said, Tate, she ain't your better half. She's at least your better nine tenths. <laughs> In his speech, Tate highlighted the policy differences between himself and his opponents in the race for governor. Now, I'm not running for governor against bad candidates. I'm running for governor against bad ideas. You see, I think it's a bad idea to help liberals against President Donald J. Trump. I'm proud I championed the largest tax cut in Mississippi history because you know how to spend your money better than any governmental entity ever will. Now, now. This is a fault line in this campaign. You see, Jim Hood thinks the Bryant Reeves tax cut was a mistake. Jim Hood thinks the Trump tax cut was a mistake. Hell, Jim Hood thinks the fact that we have President Trump is a mistake. Oh. Other candidates, all we're looking for spending more money for this, this, and this, different, different issues, and you know. I thought he addressed them in a sound fiscal way, said, yes, we need to do things, but we also got to look at what the cost of can't just make promises for everything. It's not necessarily a popular thing to do to tell people, no, you can't have everything you want. My little kids wanted that a long time ago. In his final speech at the fair as governor, Governor Phil Bryant made it clear that Tate Reeves, who he has endorsed for governor, is the only conservative running who will keep our state moving forward. Proud of that young man. He and I have been there when the times were tough, and we had to balance budgets. We're going to finish strong in this administration. We're going to pass the torch to a new generation of leadership, stronger, more determined. As every Mississippian knows, the Neshoba County Fair is more than just political speeches. It's about Mississippi's value of upholding family traditions. I've been coming out here to the fair since I was three years old. When my mother and father built the cabin, this three cabins off the square, and everybody was saying, why do you want to be so far away from me? Square, and so have been at this location since 1974. As I tell people, it's 90 acres surrounded by a fence, and so you can turn kids loose or whatever. They have a good time. It's a good, safe place to go. Be a family reunion. Until next time, live from the campaign trail. I'm Renee Easy with the Mississippi Minute.